What's going on friends? My name is John Waldman and I'm a filmmaker based in New York. Today we're talking about accessories for the Sony FX3. So last week I shared my first thoughts about the Sony FX3, all the things I like about it, and particularly from the perspective of someone that owns a Sony FX6. I wanted to keep this rig pretty minimal, but I did want to get some more functionality out of it. So there's a couple things that I've purchased that have helped me get more versatility out of this rig. I actually did record some of this video when I recorded the last video. Links to all the accessories that I'm talking about today will be in the description below. So first up is the small rig half cage. Again, I kind of wanted to keep this small and as minimal as possible. I feel like this has a really nice design, bunch of mounting points. It doesn't cover up where I want to mount the XLR, but it also does come with a NATO rail attachment. So if I wanted to take the XLR off and then put the rail on and attach something like a monitor, I can do that. So yeah, I just think this was put together very well. I do like that there's a little horseshoe right there. Again, it's minimal, but it also adds a lot more flexibility and functionality to this kit. So next up would be the Condor Blue E-mount cap. I really like these caps. I have one for my FX6. It just gives an extra layer of protection. It like clicks in like a lens does. No, I didn't just buy it because it looks cool. So next up, this quick release plate that I bought. I just wanted a quick solution to be able to put my camera on and off my tripod. It's nothing too special, but again, I just wanted more flexibility with this kit. All right, so next up would be the Condor Blue top handle extension. I mentioned in my first thoughts video how I wish the top handle was a little larger out of the box. It's just like a little bit too small. It's a little bit awkward to hold. So this Condor Blue top handle extension alleviates that problem and not only makes it longer and feels better in the hand, there's also a ton of mounting points. So you'll be able to rig things like a monitor up. Super stoked about that. Small Rig also makes a similar product and I'm a big fan of Small Rig. So maybe check that one out as well, depending on availability. Sony ECM VG1 microphone. <laughs> I think I'm like Harry Potter or something. <laughs> All right, anyways, uh, I needed a microphone to go on my Sony FX3, as well as my Sony FX6, depending on the shoot, which camera I'm using. So I primarily use a Sennheiser 4K16 as my interview microphone. It's a fantastic microphone, um, but I don't necessarily love it for on-camera stuff, not because of the quality, it's fantastic, but it's pretty long, so it tends to kind of like droop a little bit. Um, so I wanted something a little bit smaller that I could pop on the FX3 or the FX6 just so I can have an option for when I need natural sound, something that's better than the scratch mic. And so far in my very small tests, it appears that this is the winner. Okay, so ignore my mess. I am just doing a, uh, a quick audio test. So this is just the scratch mic and about probably about a foot and a half away barely see myself and I'm getting closer. Test, 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 test. It took me a little bit to find the microphone that I wanted. I didn't want something that is more typical of like a hot shoe mount sort of thing. I wanted something that could fit into an XLR handle because both the FX3 and the FX6 have that. So now when I have a shoot that I want to use the natural sound, this is going to be my microphone and I will still be using the Sennheiser as my main interview microphone. I also think this will be good to put on camera when I'm doing interviews just as a backup source. Always have good audio and always have backups. You never know, something could happen. This is gonna be that option for me. Okay, so next up is the Sony card reader. This is good for V90 cards as well as CF Express Type A. I actually bought this alongside the FX6 about a year ago when I got that camera and it has been working like a tank ever since I bought it. The build quality is fantastic. It's metal. 
takes a USB-C. What I like to do in my little DIT kit is just have a USB-C to USB-C as well as a USB-C to USB. You never know what laptop or computer you're gonna have to plug into. So make sure you have both of those. But yeah, this thing works great. It never heats up. I think having a card reader, no matter what camera you have, it's a must have, especially on set. I don't think it's a very professional workflow to be plugging your camera in and offloading your footage through your camera. You wanna have a card reader so you could quickly dump footage, pop it back in, or let's say you wanna quickly check your footage, see how everything's looking. This is just a much easier workflow. I highly recommend this one. I believe there are some third party options from ProGrade, maybe there's some others. I could only testify for this one. I think it's a must have. All right guys, so that is about it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. These are accessories that are bringing me a ton of value to my FX3 rig. I made these purchases to help get more use and flexibility and versatility out of my kit. Side note, this is the first YouTube video I am filming on the FX3. Well, at least the shots where I'm wearing this shirt because the if you see me in the other outfit, that'll be from last week in the FX6. I love how like this small compact nature is. I'm really stoked about the positive feedback from the last video. I'm gonna to continue to make more videos, whether it's about the FX6, the FX3, maybe a comparison video. I don't know. I feel like I'm finally getting the ball rolling. I'm excited. I have a bunch of ideas. I made a very modest goal this year of making two YouTube videos a month. It looks like we're gonna hit two videos in the first two weeks. Like this video if you feel like it brought you some value or you just, you just like me. Comment any thoughts or questions. Subscribe if you haven't already. My friends, thank you so much as always. This is a classic sign off. Cheers. Damn. Crush through that segment. Let's go.